Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to create multiple resources of the same type using Terraform, basically by leveraging count and for each. So without further ado, let's jump into the example I've prepared. So for this example I'm using the Kubernetes provider and I'm using it because I want you to not incur any costs whenever you are deploying these resources. So basically I have a kind cluster set up, if you do not know how to set up a kind cluster I will show you a guide in the description below. Uh, you could also use Minikube or you could use any other Kubernetes cluster, but by using kind, I guess this is one of the most easiest way to actually do it. So in my example, I have a Kubernetes namespace resource and basically it has a count that is equal to three. And this means that it will create three namespaces basically. Uh, as you can see here in the name, I have a format ns percent d count.index. So who is count.index? Basically, when you have a count equal to three, uh, if you're familiar with Python, this can easily translate to for i in range three, which means that i will be equal to zero in the first iteration, then equal to one in the second one, and in the end, this will be equal to two. So it's the same for count.index as well. So it first will be zero, then will be one, and then will be two. So let's apply the code and uh, see it in action. So I'll run Terraform init first. I have to wait a couple of seconds to get all the packages prepared. Then we can directly apply. And we, when we are running apply, we're going to see these resources getting created. And as you can see here, these are the names and I'm going to copy them here just to make it easier to follow when I'm going to show you some of the next steps. So let me copy this one as well. Okay. And now let's apply the code and see the namespaces getting created. So as you can see, this created the namespaces in under one second. So basically, uh, everything is good, right? If we change the count to two and we run Terraform apply again, uh, the last one will basically get deleted. And this is because index two is now out of range because uh, count that index will be zero and then it will be one. So if I apply the code, this is what's going to happen. It will destroy the, the second one. Uh, so what I'm going to show you now is one of the biggest issues that I basically have with count. Uh, before showing you that, I'm going to destroy everything. So let's suppose you want to use a list variable in order to define these resources. So say namespace is equal to, let's say namespace one, namespace two, and namespace three. So now, instead of adding a value here, we will say this is the length of our list, so local dot namespaces. And in here, the name will be local dot namespaces of count dot index. So basically, this will be the first value of our list in the first iteration, the second value of our list list in the second iteration, and the third value of our list in the third iteration. So now if we apply the code, we are going to see that we have uh, namespace three getting created, namespace two getting created, and then namespace one right here. So let's say yes and apply the code. And now let's suppose we want to delete the second one. So we'll just delete it. And now if you apply the code, what do you think it will happen? Basically, uh, this behaves exactly like a list in any other programming language. So due to the fact that we had three uh, different indices here in the beginning, now because we've deleted the middle one, the, the last one will change its index basically to uh, one. It was two before and now it will be one. And this happens exactly as in any programming language, as I mentioned before. So if I run Terraform apply again, indeed, this one will be deleted, but this one will be recreated because this index has changed from two to one. So let's see it in action. And as you can see, uh, we have one to add and two to destroy. As I mentioned before, this one must be replaced because it changed its index. And yeah, this is one of the, the reasons why I hate count and I don't recommend you to use it because imagine if you had like a hundred different easy to instances, for example, in here, 
uh, if you wanted to just let's suppose uh, delete let's say the third one and the others would be recreated so the the instances from index three until a hundred they will they would all be recreated so this is just not good at all luckily terraform has uh, another uh, loop that can create resources that is for each uh, let's destroy everything that we have in here and let me show you how for each works so for each works on uh, sets and maps and basically uh, let's say we could have namespace 2 again in here to make it easy namespace 2 and now instead of count we'll say for each and we would do a to set of our local dot namespaces and in our metadata right here we will add each dot value so for each actually exposes to two things usually each dot key and each dot value uh, in our case because in here we just have a list of uh, a set in our case of namespaces it will only have the each dot value but if we would have used uh, like a map object variable we would have have the each dot key as well and i'll show you an example with that after so let's apply the code and as you can see again namespace 3 namespace 2 and namespace 1 I'm going to say yes and now we have everything applied now let's suppose we want to delete namespace 2 okay we removed it from the list if we apply again the code you will see that this is not getting recreated and that's because if you look here we have kubernetes namespace dot this and it has the e that we have in here the value in, in this case uh, as the parameter of the the resource so uh, this means that the second one will be deleted but the third one won't be recreated it will stay as it is so if i run apply you're going to see that when we have only one to destroy and that's it so we are destroying it just for the sake of the example and let's actually destroy everything because i want to show you how to use for each with the object map variable as well so let's suppose uh, we have this variable like here and we say namespace one and we say color equals green something like this and let's add another one as well namespace two color blue. okay so now we are just going to use this local dot namespaces variable and basically uh, what this does is it's exposing an each dot key which is this one and an each dot value which is everything under these uh, curly brackets so i could also have something else in here a lot of other parameters it doesn't really matter uh, every one of these parameters is a part of this each dot value so in order to keep the same name we would say here each dot key sorry and in order to keep the colors and actually have a different color for namespace too we would say each dot value dot color and this happens because we could have other parameters as well so let's apply the code and as you can see namespace 2 has the blue color and namespace 1 has the green color so let's click on yes and now we can also let's say get the namespaces from our cluster and see them right here and we can also describe the namespaces and you can see that namespace 1 has color green and namespace 2 has color blue so that's it for for this video uh, if you liked it don't forget to to like subscribe and ring the bell to get notified when new videos are up uh, and also if you're interested i have a full series on terraform on medium so medium is a blog platform i have over 16 articles related to terraform you can check it out i'll leave it in the description below Thanks for watching.